since I posted a video, but I'm putting down my bilge kills and I wanted to share some of my thoughts. Um, I contacted Clint at Chase Small Craft, asked his ideas on whether or not I should follow the chine line or just put it down straight. Um, bilge keel is for beaching. Here's a 3D drawing of it there. And it follows the chine line. But if you're gonna beach it on a rocky shoreline, um, you might have a big rock right here. And what could is the, the little bilge keel way out here, even if it does follow the chine line, it, that rock right here isn't going to care. So uh, neither do I. And um, I just laid it down straight. Uh, as far as water flow, it's, it's no worse than this curved bilge keel water flow around that. So I just put it down straight. Um, I've got this side, this is the starboard side. Uh, it's already got the two layers of glass on it and the bilge keel now is glued in place. I did not screw it. Um, I was thinking about going down through this hardwood, but you're just anchoring to, you know, three eighths ply. Or should I go up through the ply to anchor into the hardwood? That would have been a better idea. Instead, I just skipped the screws and went with, you know, I mean like it's gotta be glued down anyway, but this is Easy Fillet. It is a structural adhesive, epoxy adhesive, and uh, a fillet material. And it, it, it's already, you know, got stuff in it that makes it cling to all kinds of surfaces, upside down, right side up, whatever. And there's a better view of bilge keel. And this is just my uh, you know, clamping method, some weights and a 2x4 holding it all down while it cures. What I did do, since this is kind of, this is one of the keels, this is the port side keel, bilge keel. If you can see that, I, I went ahead and used my router and routed two V grooves in it for better uh, glue adhesion. And so after I get another layer of epoxy or fiberglass on the port side, I'll go ahead and put down the port side bilge keel. So I thought I'd just make this quick little video um, because I was kind of stumped. Do I want to steam bend this and follow the chine line? Do I want to screw it on or just glue it on? Um, where I sail, it's it's a lake, and there's a lot of rocky shoreline. I'll probably never ever beach it somewhere on the lake anyway. If I'm going to do some overnight camping, um, I'll anchor out in a couple feet of water and, and wade to the shore. But I don't ever plan on beaching this. But the plans call out for these bilge keels. So I thought I'd put them on. So that's where I'm at. Um, can't wait to get the bottom done, painted, and flipped over so that I can get back to the inside. I had a lot of things come up over the last few months. Um, the projection of getting it in the water by the 1st of October is not going to happen although the boat could be put in the water the first of october you know the bottom will be definitely done by then but i still have a few months of interior work to do after i do get this thing flipped over so um the project will continue on through you know november and december and it'll be ready for some springtime sailing all right thanks for watching